would honestly say that I, I miss his laugh the most. I just brought the joy with it. November 3rd started out as a normal day. Tyler Goodrich went to work at his job at the Nebraska Department of Corrections and stopped at Costco at the end of the day to pick up a pizza for a family movie night with his husband, Marshall, and one of their two children. But shortly after he got home, he and Marshall got into a heated argument. Tyler and I were at a difficult spot in our marriage. Um, I, we, we talked, we talked about our marriage not being, it might not be forever. It was enough for us to give our kids an amazing home. And that, that to both of us meant the world. Either way, we knew that we were always going to be in each other's lives. They were planning on getting divorced. Um, and I think um, that is what probably escalated this argument to a whole nother level that night. Marshall told the private investigator that he called 911 after Tyler pushed him. Marshall said Tyler then ran upstairs and out of the house. Tyler's cell phone going silent shortly after he left. This grainy security camera video from outside Tyler's house shows a man running in front of the home. But is this Tyler? We have this really, really grainy blink camera video of somebody leaving the house. Um, I've seen it personally. I thought it was Tyler, um, but other people don't think it is, and it is really hard to tell. At first, friends and family believed that Tyler may have gone on a run to cool off. He was training for a race that weekend. I talked to him every single day. I saw him every day at work. When that weekend happened, once it was over, like I got up the next day thinking I was gonna see Tyler walk in my office, or hoping I would, and it didn't happen. So it's just, it's been difficult. In the early days of the investigation, police urged Tyler to come back, hoping he had just run off after the argument. On Tyler Goodrich, we want everybody to know he is not in any trouble criminally whatsoever for anything that has transpired. So if he is hiding and thinking he's in trouble, he can come out and not be. He's also still has his job. So we just want to make that clear. Private investigators continue to conduct searches over the area. A canine search about three weeks after Tyler disappeared revealed a path that Tyler may have taken after leaving the house. A path taking him along a wooded area ending along a road. But as days turned into weeks and now months, family, friends, and investigators fear something more sinister may have happened. Tyler went on that run. Um, he gets back on the highway, uh, is headed back towards the house to kind of fix things, and either A, a drunk driver, or B, somebody who shouldn't have been on the road, um, didn't see him, hit him, um, gravely wounded him, and then panicked and took him and left the area. Tyler just disappeared. There's no bank account activity, no cell phone activity. We want somebody to come forward, speak up, be honest. Some, something has happened and we, we want closure for the family. That's what's important right now. Tyler's case has sparked interest of more than 23,000 people in the community and online. His friends say he gathered people from all different walks of life from work, his running group, the military, the LGBT community, and of course, his lifelong friends. So many friendships collected over the decades, now coming together to welcome Tyler home. We both were even little homecoming king and queen, kind of like, you know, like the little crown bearers that go and yeah, give that to the, the king and queen of the high school. They're just, I just want him to come back.